O split. You might want to get a spoon, Dad. And the reason why Fast Foodies is because today here on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel, my dad and I are going to be reviewing the brand new, never before seen Kit Kat Banana Split McFlurry. You heard me, it is a mouthful today. McDonald's just came out with this brand new McFlurry. It has Kit Kats, it has bananas in it. And the reason why I brought my dad on is because I don't know why I always want to review Kit Kat stuff with you. <laughs> but uh, what were the Kit Kats that we tried? The pink lemonade. Yeah, those weren't too good. Uh, I believe that this one just has regular Kit Kats in it. Where's the... There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, focus as well. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see the wafers on there. Mm -hmm. And I think there's supposed to be bananas in there too because it is called the... It's either Banana Split Kit Kat or I think it's the Kit Kat Banana Split McFlurry. And to see more reviews just like this, hit that subscribe button but uh initial thoughts dad did you hit the subscribe button i think they did um hmm it looks that the you know, i like the flurries from um the baskin robbins better i don't know well oh, oh, fast foodies look at this i got a bone to pick with it's mcdonald's a, yeah it's it, it's only at the top yeah it's the, the the mc it's there's only topping the yeah. It's not a flurry. Yeah. Well, it is a mixed flurry. Okay, but a flurry is like a flurry. It means like a you're, snowstorm you talk, flurry. You're talking about a blizzard from Dairy Queen. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, you're right. Now that but being that's said, that's kind of like brand confusion yeah. or something like that. I don't know. The the mixins that you do get, ice cream's not good. The things are soggy. No. Yeah, they do get pretty soggy actually. Yeah. No, no. I'm not a I'm fan of this. Dripping on my grill cover. Mm. McDonald's, no, although that's a fail. That's a fail. I think this is better than the pink lemonade Kit Kats. Yeah, and I gave that a five, so that's. A five. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with my dad today. This is it doesn't happen often. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 McFlurry that they came out with this before this one. Now we need to do a blizzard. Blizzard. Go to Dairy Queen. Though Dairy Queen's expensive nowadays. It's I'm getting a call from my colleague TJ Ewing. He, he subscribes to this. <laughs> does he? Yeah, he does. Yeah, there you go, TJ. Shout out to TJ. Hey, TJ, we're just filming a Fast Foodies uh, review. The Grandmother's McFlurry. That was solid. If you missed out on that review, I'll make sure to play it after this one. But, uh, yeah. Disappointing today. Hope you guys enjoyed this review more than we enjoyed this McFlurry. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, well. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. So all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. And to see exclusive behind the scenes footage, then you can head on over to Instagram and follow the Fast Foodies at Fast Foodies Review. This one's going to be sweet, just like Grandma. Welcome back, a Fast Foodie Nation, to yet another Fast Foodies review today we are sadly not going to grandma's house but you know where we are going mcdonald's and the reason why is because mcdonald's just came out with a brand new mcflurry inspired by the one and only grandmother isn't that nice i gotta give it to mcdonald's you know all these other fast food places they're coming out with you know fruity flavored stuff for the for the summertime but no mcdonald's McDonald's knows where it's at. It's at grandma's house. And now, since this is inspired by grandmother, it's supposed to be sweet, just like a grandma is. And there are little candy pieces inside of this McFlurry. And the reason why there are candy pieces is because, well, grandmas always have candy in their purse. Isn't that nice? It's like a little, what's it called? Like an homage to grandmother's McDonald's way to go but does it taste any good well it better because well as long as she doesn't forget that she's baking something or cooking something my grandmother can always whip something up very tasty but yeah if she forgets then it's burnt <laughs> it just gets burnt and sometimes if it's really bad when the fire alarms go off and the the fire people come 
Hopefully no fire alarms going off today, just smiles and good McFlurries. But of course, before I uh, try this out, there's one thing you gotta do. To make your grandmother happy, guess what? All you gotta do, it's super easy. So easy in fact that even my grandmother could do it. Hit that subscribe button. Great, now we are ready to find out what this grandma's McFlurry is all about. Now somehow I managed to uh, lose the McFlurry spoon, but don't worry, I have my own tasting spoon. Do you guys sip or eat your McFlurries? I always eat them. See how sweet it is. Mmm. Butterscotch. Yep. This is a butterscotch McFlurry. with butterscotch bites. And boy, is it sweet. McDonald's is not lying. It's as sweet as my grandmother. <laughs> this is very, <laughs> so sweet that even my grandmother would say it's sweet. And now that's saying something. <laughs> my grandmother has quite the sweet tooth. She's actually been in some fast feeding reviews. She hasn't been in one in quite some time. We'll have to get her back on the channel soon. But man, if you guys like your butterscotch, your sweetness, you will love this. Personally, I don't know about you, but my grandmother, sometimes she can get a little salty. <laughs> That's what this McFlurry needs. Just a little bit of salt, you know, to, uh, because I always find that the opposite, you know, when you have the opposite of something, it makes you appreciate the other thing even more. So when you have something sweet, that's great. But when you pair that with something salty, it makes you appreciate, it makes the sweetness stand out even more, just like in life, you know? It's like if you, you're in a relationship with someone, you know, it's super sweet. But if you ever never have those uh, tumultuous times, those little rough patches, then you don't appreciate the sweet times as much. And that's what this McFlurry needs. Just a little bit of saltiness. See, this is what you learn here on the Fast Foodies. Mm. For ratings, nine out of 10. If this just had a little sprinkle of salt, easy, 10 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed this fun Fast Foodies review. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys tried this out and what you guys thought. And we'll catch you in the next one. If you made it to the end of this video, then I'm sure that you want to become a fast foodie as well. 